Hey guys, and welcome to today's video, um, which is Judocorn, um, drawings and Judocorn sketchbook tour, I guess. <laughs> Hey guys, and welcome to today's video, um, which is Judocorn, um, drawings and Judocorn sketchbook tour, I guess, where I show mostly, um, my, um, unicorn drawings, uh, from Judocorn, and I know I'll, I've been meaning to do this for a while, but, uh, I kept getting these video ideas and everything, so... We're going to go ahead and get started. So I came up with these prompts right here for Junicorn. And these honestly helped me because I struggled in this month. Um, to be honest, uh, like towards the end, I struggled a lot. And I couldn't, you know, think of concepts anymore. Not just dumb with Junicorn. But, um, which is kind of um, sad because I love unicorns. But anyway, it's just sometimes... Um, they're hard to draw, so I'll get worn out. But I just want to show the cover page where I did Chinocorn. And I just like to want to mention that I am doing houses uh, for this month. Um, just to take a break for the face and everything. So I want to learn how to draw houses and everything. So, anyway, um, so this cover page. Um, so we have some concept sketches off the bat already. So what I did for this month, I will sketch it in another sketchbook, my idea for the month, transfer it to printer paper and then use my light box um, to put on my final paper which is the sketchbook and I will just go from there. So I'll put those aside. Um, those are only for watercolor pieces. Um, so basically when I started out Junicorn, I was like, oh I'm going to do digital art. You know, but uh, I was able to get a Hobby Lobby and get more sketchbooks. Um, so I'm gonna put somewhere in the video of uh, day one through five, day one through four, um, on in the video. So yeah, I need to do that too. But um, anyway, so this is, we're gonna start with day five. Like I said, we're gonna do day one through four. Um, so on um, because I did those digitally. Um, so for day five was third eye, so I did a unicorn with three eyes. This was a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun with one well, I'm the most inspired um to do unicorn and I had a lot of fun with it. It's very colorful. Um so I had a lot of fun with it. Um so this one I did unicorn poses um uh, with my ballpoint pen and watercolor. So I had a lot of fun with these and this is when I was really getting into it. Um, but you can tell the difference between getting into it and then I slowly slack it off, um, in the middle of the month. Um, so, yeah, um, anyway, uh, let's see, okay, we're, we'll get to that, just, uh, need a reminder. Well, actually, while we're here, um, we're going to go ahead and go over it, then we'll have to remember to do so. This is day 10 Junicorn, and I just wanted, I didn't follow the prom once, I don't think. Um, this is while I was going to do line art and ink illustration, so, um, this is heavy into ink illustration, so I love black and white, um, so here's an ink illustration of Unicorn, that's day 10, so we've already, um, covered that, so this is just for our video, um, see, already at 3 minutes, 
So let's go back for one second. Day six is wings, and I did a unicorn for the wings. Now I wanted to play with shape, um, and everything in this month, so that was a lot of fun. Um, this is the watercolor ballpoint pen. Um, I wanted to do a lot of things in the sketchbook, like watercolor washes, like my watercolor painting guys take a while now, so um, depending on which uh, method I go for, like if I go for the red color pencil, um, then I go for that. Um, so this was a live stream I think I did of Juno Corn, so there's a live stream for that, so that was a lot of fun, a lot of you came I think, um, I don't remember, so. Uh, go to day 11 and 10. Um, I think I redid 10 actually, and which is this one here as well, which is butterflies and tulips. Um, and I did more ink illustrations. Um, this is when I was really getting into ink illustrations, and I was having a lot of fun with black and white. Um, as some of you guys don't know, uh, I went to college. I didn't graduate, but I went to college. Study photography, which is why I love black and white, and I was a graphic design major. Uh, wasn't declared, but that's what I was aiming for, but I didn't finish college, so uh, I won't get into that. But, um, see, um, if you guys want me to do a sketchbook tour, I'm not sure if I did a sketchbook tour on the sketchbook, but there, there's a lot of ink illustrations. Uh, this was day 12, and I wanted something a little different. I wanted something play with still wet and um, day 12 of sunflower so I did sunflower. I think this is before I learned how to draw flowers in ink um, so um, you can tell it's very smudgy and I didn't know how to shade the flowers so I just colored it. Um, the petals are wrong so I'm not sure if it's um, sunflower but it looks very cartoony which I think I was aiming for but if I were to critique myself the flowers will come to a point that I've rounded, but that's just me. Um, so, I did, I thought that was pretty cool because I used my black ink um, to do the highlights in the hair and the highlights in the horns. You can tell it's a unicorn. Um, so, I'm pretty happy with that. Um, so, yeah. Uh, day 13, instead of doing unicorns, I did. Um, a unicorn girl and she's looking at the moon. This is this sketchbook is really mainly dedicated to learning line art and ink illustrations. So I was having a lot of fun with it and the details and everything. So I was having a lot of fun with it. I learned a lot in this sketchbook, guys. You have no idea how much I learned. Um, which is why I love these types of sketchbooks where you can play with different mediums and everything like that. So here's where the watercolor uh, started. Uh, I already knew how to paint watercolor, but um, I was learning new techniques like washes and um, so yeah, flat washes mainly. So this is day fourteen, garden unicorn, and they're basically in the garden. So I had a lot of fun with it. It just took a while. So um, when I do flat washes for watercolor, they take a while. So. Depending on 30 minutes to 2 hours or something like that, depending on how simple the sketch is. Um, day 15 was Bunny, uh, so that was day 15, so I got Bunny Riding Unicorn. I thought this, this turned out pretty cute. I just wanted something simple again. I think I was uh, to the point of where burnout, so um, there's that. And I was going to do a house in this video demonstration for you guys, but I think that will come in another video. Um, so, because I don't want this video to be too long. We do have two other sketchbooks to go through. So, uh, day 16 was hot air balloon or balloons, I think. Uh, so I did a hot air balloon, but I think the basket needs to be have a little bit more value. But I didn't want the unicorn to be faded into the basket, if you know what I mean. So... Um, here in clouds, um, so I was, you know, this is why I got my mojo back, I think, for it, so, um, yeah, uh, anyways, Ooh, we got a lot to go through, guys, we got a lot to go through, um, so day 17 was, uh, confident, or, uh, I'm recording confident live here in this cloud, you can definitely tell confident in here, um, so basically defining the lines a little bit, but you can definitely tell a difference um, between light 
online. So here's Quell from day 17. Um, see, that is what it's going to look. I think so. So this is the first sketchbook for Shadow Core. So we'll go over the other ones um, right now. Um, see, so that was done. Um, we're going for this one next. So I think that was day 17. This is day 18. Best Friends Unicorn. Um, so Best Friends, I just decided to draw them uh, on a swing. This is when the bird out was starting to happen and I was like, but then again, I was inspired because I got a new sketchbook. So why wouldn't you be inspired, right? So, um, anyway. Uh, so that was day 18, day 19, um, was yellow, um, when I came up with these prompts, I wasn't very original, and I wasn't, you know, inspired by these prompts, I guess, to begin with, so I did yellow shoes, um, and yellow, so, yeah, um, so day 20 was, um, day 20 was, Sun unicorn, so I did a simple sun, and I did a unicorn sketch. I'm trying to go faster, guys, because we're already at 10 minutes. Um, so, for day, I, whoa, day 19, day 20, we have to skip. Why do we skip? Okay, day 21 was Mama and Baby Unicorn, um, so I kind of did something simple. Um, again for this one, and yeah, so, uh, day 25, day, okay, I think I went backwards, I think that's what happened, um, so, woo, don't want to let that move, um, day 22 was, uh, message in a bottle, and I did a video on this, and you guys seem to like it, so, I'm very happy with this, um, at first I was, uh, uh, what's the word, um, uh, nervous to do this because I didn't know how to draw a bottle, but that's the thing about challenges because it can really challenge you, so, uh, day 22, um, fine, day 23, I think we can find that, day 24, did I do day 23? I know I did day 23. Day 25. I think I, guys, I think I skipped today. I don't see day 23. Yeah, I don't see day 23. Oh my gosh, I skipped today. Um, okay, so, uh, sometimes I skip days when I don't feel like it and everything, but, um, let me look at the list and see what day 23 was. Uh, Magic Unicorn. Oh, I combined the two. That's what happened. Okay, so, um, day 25 with candy, but I redid this. Um, I have to find it, so that's why, um, so day, okay, here we go. Day 23 and 24 was, uh, Magic and Mermaid. Um, uh, that's what happened. Usually I like to combine days and have got a day, so you can definitely do that and just basically, you know, combine them, you know? Um, if you miss a day or something. That's what I do and that's what I stayed on. I thought this was very interesting. Um, I really liked this a lot. So I had a lot of fun, um, with that. Um, so that's it for the sketchbook, I think. So we left off on day 25. Um, so the last sketchbook, guys, I gotta hurry up because it's like 13 minutes. Um, so here's an example of a house. So, and guys, this prop was right here, my house, uh, prop was, it's on my Instagram, if you want to go check it out, email Anna08. So, let's see, 25, did I do day 26? What was day 26? Pink unicorn. Yeah, I remember not doing, um, 26. The pink unicorn, so we're gonna have to skip that. Um, but at least I think so. Uh, day 28 and day 27, unicorn in the garden, and then I wrote down my friend came over, so um, yeah, day 27.
Yeah, I think. Oh, I did. This is day 27. Yeah. Um, I got confused. Day 28 was shooting star, and I was actually very happy with this. So, um, that was a lot of fun. Um, here's an example of a summer house, uh, or a beach house, um, for the July challenge. Um, day 29 was adventure, so I did mountains and, uh, unicorn flying airplane. Um, this is my game really burned out on it, I think. So, um, yeah. <laughs> um, so, and this is the last day. Was that 29? Yeah, that was 29. And this is the last day, and I didn't realize it was the last day, guys. I really didn't, and lo and behold, it's the last day already. So, um, I had a lot of fun with this. I did a collab with Miss Malia and Art, and I was like, I didn't know what to do with it. So I'm like, why not do Unicorn? And we were supposed to do an ink illustration for it, so I did a unicorn and a witch um, combined. So I like to combine things, so there is that. Um, so this was the seven ones I did. This is really late, and yeah, so day 30. Um, I didn't follow the prop list, I don't think. I just went ahead and did it. So, um, I had a lot of fun with it. So, I want to make a memory, you know? So, anyways, uh, that's all my Juno Core drawings in 15 minutes. Um, something like that. But, uh, guys, if you like what you see here, I do a lot of challenges on my channel like this. Um, so, and I'm thinking for this month, while well, I am, um, uh, doing houses and, uh, I just want to take a break from characters and stuff and try to stretch my art style a little bit. So, um, I'm having a lot of fun with that and that's been a lot of fun. Um, so, anyways, uh, guys, if you like what you see here, hit that red subscribe button to gray. And please watch the other videos at the end of the screen as well. Uh, yeah, so thank you for watching. Bye, guys.